Your job is not to make it happen. Your job is to welcome it. To allow what is trying to come through, to allow the good that is trying to come through to manifest through you. You see, what you seek is seeking you. As above, so below. As within, so without. And we can only have in this world what we are able to carry. Meaning as high as you set the bar in mind and in spirit is as much as you get in this lifetime. But our job as the spiritual seekers, as the seekers of good, as the seekers of great, is to move from theory to practice. And how you practice is, is, is about the beingness of it. It's about stepping into the embodiment of allowing, of surrendering, of letting go and letting God. Based on my mind, I can be in heaven or hell right here where I stand. I can be in anguish and think about all the stuff I don't have, or I can think about all the stuff I do have. And that's still a choice. So wherever you are in your journey, you have a choice within that. Because if you have breath, you have something to be grateful for. If you have family, you have something to be grateful for. If you have a roof over your head, you have something to be grateful for. So if you choose to focus on all the stuff that isn't working, that's on you. But once again, your job is not to make it happen. Your job is to welcome it. And how you welcome it is becoming the frequency, is becoming the thing, allowing the good that is trying to come through you to manifest right now in the here and now. There is only love. There is only love and our job is to move everything aside that stands in the way of what that is. So one way to tap into that good is to do this little game that I do called how much love, how much good can I receive today? So my challenge to you is to step into a space of, okay, I know it's there. I know love is there, I know God is there, I know peace is there, I know beauty is there. But like, how much of it can I receive? Because I'm angry and I'm upset with my mom and I'm mad about the job I didn't get and I'm da right? All of that stuff, that noise, that chatter, we're gonna push that to the side just for today. And we're gonna step into how much of it can I receive? Despite my circumstances, how much good can I allow into my beautiful, amazing life? You get to be the rose in the, in the concrete that refuses not to live. No matter what is happening, the rose decides, I'm living.